On the 17th of June 1766, John Pounds was born. 250 years later, his place as a figure of immense importance to Portsmouth remains strong. From humble beginnings to a man recognised as an inspiration for free state education, our reporter Ben Treppers caught up with a local publisher to visit the areas of the city that moulded John Pounds during his lifetime. John Pounds a man regarded as one of the most influential figures to come out of Portsmouth. He worked as a cobbler in one of the poorest parts of the city, where poverty and depravity were the staple. Add in a lack of education, and it was no surprise that for the children of the area, a life of crime was often just around the corner. Enter Pounds. Keen to make a difference to a few, he spent his time teaching those in need the basics in reading, writing and maths. A poor man from humble beginnings, it was far from an easy early life for Pounds, as Matt Wingett explains. When he was 12 years old, he was indentured into the dockyard, and when he was 15, having worked there for three years, he fell off the side of a ship into the dry dock and was severely injured. Um, he spent some time in bed recovering. Uh, he had no insurance, there was no compensation at that time, and when he came out from that, he was really badly disabled or deformed is probably the right word. He had a stoop that was around about 90 degrees. This meant of course that he couldn't go back into the dockyard so he set up as a cobbler in a cobbler's shop along the road here and it was there that he started to make massive changes in people's lives. The workshop used by Pounds during his career as a cobbler was destroyed during World War II. In 2004 a replica workshop was created at the back of the Unitarian Church on the High Street in Old Portsmouth. It was here that John Pounds first began to teach children. He had uh, adopted his nephew and his neighbour, Richard Lemon, suggested that he send some kids around as well. And so what happened was that he started to teach those few children. Neighbours heard about it and sent their children and he did it all for free. Over time, more and more children turned up until this tiny, tiny cobbler shop, measuring just about six feet by about 18 feet, would be filled with children who had no chance of education other than the teaching that he gave them. It was an extraordinary story and it's estimated that over his lifetime, he taught 500 children who would not have had the opportunity to read and write completely free. This revolutionary approach to education opportunities perhaps wasn't totally appreciated until after John Pounds died in 1839. But it was the catalyst for a system used nationwide to this day. Of course, convincing youngsters to visit the workshop and learn those vital life skills was sometimes easier said than done, something Pounds found an unusual method to overcome. John Pounds was so dedicated to his teaching that he sewed pockets into the inside of his coat where he would put roast and baked potatoes and he would bring them down to Portsmouth Point where he'd find the waifs and strays and the urchins freezing cold in the winter, throw them a potato and invite them up to the shop where he would teach them. Um, he was really highly regarded in Portsmouth and after his death uh, the town was distraught and word got around about his extraordinary work with children and over time he became a figurehead of a movement called the Ragged Schools Movement which led to eventually in 1870 the School Boards Act which was the start of universal state education. That movement was inspired by John Powell's so universal state education and state schools start here in Portsmouth. Ben Treppis for that Solent.